All right, Shalom. First and foremost of all, praise and and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makar Kodash. Double honors to the Apostle and the Great Millstone for teaching us the Lord sent truth according to the Bible well. And peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Take through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. I'm going to get to a Lord's one of the final lesson. It's going to be a response video on the elder uh, Manat Zappa from South Carolina. Um, he also did, uh, I, was all, I was actually watching the elder uh, Yashwamba's video from Dallas. Um, and I'm about five minutes in um, and just the scripture popped in my head. I hadn't really got to watch much of the video. So I just pray this lesson is edifying, and this is a scripture that popped in my head, and I just want to, you know, bring a few verses out, and Lord's one is edifying. This is uh, Romans 6 and 15. What then shall we sin, because we are not under the law, but under grace, God forbid, you know, and I was pondering, you know, in my spirit, you know, these guys come up talking about the law, you know, that I want to speak about the gospel, the good news that Yahweh Shai has set us free from the bondage, you know, and that we are not uh, justified in the sight of Yahweh Shema Shai by the works of the law, right? But we are justified through, you know, right here, this is a Romans 3 and... <coughs> And 23, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of the Most High, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, right? So through Yahweh Shai's sacrifice, we've been given grace, right? But because we've been given grace, like it, when we read here, we're going to go back to that Romans 3. I'm going to read this one more time, right? What? Romans 6, 15, what then shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace, God forbid, right? So the reason why Yahweh Shai dies because we all sin and fell short of that glory of the most high, right? But being, uh, Romans 3 and 23, being, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, like, the scriptures speak about walking as Yahweh Shai walked, and Yahweh Shai kept the laws perfectly, right? Whom the Most High have set forth to be a propitiation through faith in His blood. So we have faith. We believe in His sacrifice. We believe uh, Yahweh Shai died for our sins, that we may have this grace period. You know, we believe that He is going to return, right? And we believe that through this grace period, we will, uh, we will be preparing ourselves and getting ourselves right to enter into that second covenant, to declare his righteousness for the remissions of sins that are passed through the forbearance, the forbearance of the Most High. Um, jump down <clears throat> to verse uh, 31. Um, it says, do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid, yea, we establish the law, right? When you read it in the NLT, well then, if we emphasize faith, does this mean that we can forget the law? Of course not. In fact, only when we have faith do we truly fulfill the law, right? Because if you have faith in Yah by Shema Shai. Uh, as it tells us here in Romans uh, 13 and 10, you know, the book of Romans is a really good, it goes into a lot, right? Uh, Romans 10 and uh, uh, 8, it says, O, um, render therefore us. Uh, uh, Romans uh, 13, 8, O, no man anything but to love one another, for he that loveth another fulfilleth the law, right? Because Yahweh Shai told us to love the Heavenly Father with all our heart. And what's, the, what's, what's love? <laughs> love is the keeping of the law, right? <laughs> it tells us here, um, 
I'm in Romans 13, but love in 1 John 5 and 13. Um, uh, uh, let me see what this says on the last word. Let me grab that one. It's actually, uh, uh, I'm going to get 2 John 1, uh, 1 John 5 and 3. Uh, 1 John 5 and 3, uh, uh, verse 2, but by this we know that we are the children of the Most High when we love the Most High and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God that we should keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. Right? So if you have faith, you know, in Yahweh by Shema Washai, you're going to understand that his commandments are not grievous. They're not hard to do. Right, they're not uh, overbearing, right? You're not going to, uh, if you have faith and believe all that you know, the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai, you're not going to, uh, you know, steal from your brother, you're not going to, uh, you know, sleep with your, the next man's wife, right? Uh, Romans 13 8, oh, no man anything but to love one another, for he that loveth another fulfilleth the law so you have to you you show your brother that you love him <laughs> by by keeping the commandments towards one another that's how you show him that you love him but you're not justified by the works of the law right but do we just break them do we just stab our brothers in, in, in the back do we just sleep with their woman do we just do all manner of wickedness to you know the people in the world just because Yahweh Shai died for our sins and we believe that we've been given this grace period and that he's going to return and, and, and set up the new covenant. And we just do all this wickedness in the meantime? For, of course not. It says, For this thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, I mean, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet. If there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, right? So if you are walking in the faith, you're walking in, you know, faith, you know, the, you know, walking into these times, believing in the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai, you know, trying our best to, to continuance and in, in being covered by the blood of the lamb, right? You're going to treat your neighbor as yourself. How would you want to be treated in situations? How would you want to be judged in situations, right? L love worketh no ill to his neighbor, right? Uh, therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Love does not wrong. Uh, love does no wrong to others. So love fulfills the requirements of the law, right? So the laws of Yahweh Shema Washai are not evil. One, you know, they're they're good. <laughs> Is good, it, they're righteous, they're holy. The laws of Yah by Shema Washai are perfect, right? Psalms 19 and 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the a testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple to the law of the testimony. They speak not according to this word. It is no light in them, right? So the law of Yahweh Shema Washai is perfect. It converts your soul, right? It teaches you uh, the ways of righteousness, right? And those are our guidelines. So we do not trespass, you know, overstep our bounds and offend Yahweh Shema Washai as we walk in faith. And we're not going to keep the laws perfect, but they are, you know, our guidelines to what we need to do to please Yah by Shema Washai in these times. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of Yah by Shema Washai is sure. What's the testimony of Yah The spirit of prophecy, right? And the prophecies of Yah by Shema Washai are faithful and true, making wise the simple. You know, um, I'm almost certain the elder brought this one out. <laughs> The elder of uh, Manatazaba, he, um, <laughs> this is a uh, Revelation twelve and seventeen, and the dragon was wroth with the woman, right? Talking about Esau, you know, um, you know, 
uh, it's a little deeper than that, but it's talking about sleazy, you know, a uh, hair herod, right? But you know, it says, uh, and the dragon was wroth with the woman, right, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, right, which keep the commandments of the Most High and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai Amashiach, right? So the remnant of Yahweh Shemalashai. The ones that will be delivered, the ones that will be saved out of Babylon the Great, they would uh, be those who keep the commandments. They will keep the commandments of Yahweh by Shema Washai, you know, understanding and knowing um, that we are not justified by the works of the law. I think it's First John, where it talks about we have an advocate with the Father, you know. It's been a while since I brought that one. I can't really remember uh, where it is. First John 2 and 1. I'm going to read it in NLT. My dear children, I am writing to this to you that you, will, that, that you will not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate, right? An advocate is likened unto a lawyer, a person who publicly supports or recommends a particular cause or policy, right? <laughs> it says a champion, right? So we have someone on our, we have Yahweh Shai on our side pleading our cause, you know, to the Heavenly Father. It says, if, you know, if, if any man would deny me, him would the Heavenly Father, him would the Son of Man deny before the angels and my Father which is in the heaven, right? And you die, you deny Yahweh Shai. By not teaching the truth, right? And the truth of the matter is we ought to keep the commandments of Yahweh by Shema Washai. They are our, you know, our, our, the, the guidelines, you know, uh, uh, the boundary set of what we need to do and what we shouldn't do to please Yahweh by Shema Washai, right? It says, but if anyone does sin, right? We have all fall short of the glory of the Most High. We have an advocate who please our cause before the Father, he is, who, who is that? Who, who is our advocate? He is Yahweh Shai, Amashiach, the one who is truly righteous. He himself is the sacrifice that atones for our sins, and not only our sins, right, but the sins of all the world, right, and that all the world is all of Israel, Right, the whole nation that proves that the Lord just didn't die for the elect. But and it says, and we can be sure that we know him if we obey his commandments. Right? And what was Yahweh Shai what Yahweh Shai tell us to do? The greatest two commandments to love thy love the most high with all uh, your heart. Right? With all your mind, with all your might, giving your all. Be serious about serving Yahweh by Shema Shai. And to love thy neighbor as thyself, right? So you love uh, the body of believers by not working ill towards them. You know, it's just, you know, something that was on my spirit. You know, um, the Wali Yahweh Shema I pray this lesson was um, edifying. Next time we say, Shalom.